Good morning, everyone. Thanks for tuning in again. I am Tobias, and today we are in Boston. So I want to try something new today. Since my next destination is going to be Boston again, I'm going to go and split this video up into two parts. So what are we going to do today? Today we're going to walk the Freedom Trail, which is a path that leads through the city and passes historic marks of the American Revolution. And then in three weeks, we will be back in Boston. And for that, I completely rely on you so go ahead, post a comment of your favorite spot in Boston for me to check out in three weeks. And now, let's go take a walk through Boston. So every good day starts with a great breakfast. And a colleague of mine recommended this place. It's a little cafe called Tat. And the variety of pastries is amazing. Everything you see here is made in that place and nothing is coming out of the freezer. And the breakfast sandwiches are amazing too. So right after breakfast, we went back to the Boston Common, which is this large city park right in the center of the city, and it's also where the Freedom Trail begins. You usually start at the visitor center, and the cool thing about the Freedom Trail is you can never get lost, because they have this line of red bricks that leads you to the next destination where you want to go and you just follow it all the way until the end. So the first site of the Freedom Trail is the State Capitol Building of Massachusetts. It's hard to miss with its golden dome. And right next to it is the Park Street Church. That one was actually built after the American Revolution. And right next to it is the cemetery where Paul Revere is buried. That is his grave. Once you move along, you get to the Old South Meeting House. That building also used to be a church, and it was where the Boston Tea Party was planned. Walking even further into the heart of the Old City, you reach the Old Town Hall, which is where the British ruled Boston from. And it's also the site of the Boston Massacre. Today, there's a souvenir shop inside. Just a couple of footsteps away is the Faneuil Hall, which was the most important market hall and gathering place in Old Boston. Today, they mostly sell souvenirs in there. And right behind it is Quincy Market, which is a large pedestrian area with loads and loads of shops. Another cool thing about Boston is that you have these people giving city tours and they're dressed up in colonial clothing. Moving away from the city center, you walk by the Paul Revere house. I really like the contrast that the wooden boards created to the brick houses surrounding it. And that I just filled because it reminded me of Diagon Alley in the Harry Potter books. The next stop on the Freedom Trail was the Old North Church. That's the church where Paul Revere hung up two lanterns to warn the Continental Army of the arrival of the British. You can just go inside and it's for free. You can leave a small donation if you like, but unfortunately I could not get up the tower. That's a replica of one of the lanterns. In order to get to the sites in Charleston, you need to cross the Charles River. And soon you reach the Charleston Navy Yard, which is where the USS Constitution is displayed. Unfortunately, she's in dry dock right now, being refurbished, so you cannot go on the ship. This is one of the cannons. There are two other ships that you can go on to. One of them is a former German sailing ship called Horst Wessel, and today they train cadets on that. The second ship is the USS Essen Young, which is a destroyer from the Second World War. And at the other end of the Freedom Trail, you find the Bunker Hill Monument, which is a huge obelisk 
in memory of the Battle of Bunker Hill, which was one of the first battles in the American Revolution. And after climbing 294 steps, you have a fantastic view over the whole city. So that was part one of our trip to Boston. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that like button. And if you want to be part of our small community, feel free to subscribe to the channel. I see you again here in Boston in three weeks. And until then, stay busy in the comments section. Tell me of cool places that you know here in Boston. Until then, have a good time and see you then.